Thousands of families on the central coast, rain and the relentless wind causing flooding, power outages and damage. KION's Natalie Gutierrez spoke with people in the Santa Cruz Mountains who are trying to recover tonight. Fallen trees and power lines on the roadways, trapping some in the Santa Cruz Mountains Tuesday evening. Many families in Ben Lomond say they've never seen anything like this. We've never had anything like this in the 13 years that I've lived here. There are so many trees down, kids are stuck at stools, there's no way for my husband to get home from Santa Cruz. Other people spent their day sitting in their cars for hours because of the road closures. We were just able to sit and every time the cars would move forward, I would turn my car back on and move forward and then turn it back off and sit some more. pg &E says they have dozens of tree crews here in the Santa Cruz Mountains working to remove trees. This closure that you see right behind me in Felton is still in place a day after the storm. Caltrans also responded to over 2,000 reports of downed trees and wires across the roadways on Highway 9. This has people like Jessica Horton worried. I'm just a little bit stressed um, with no power, no Wi-Fi for you know exams. Caltrans said in a statement they had multiple closures on Highway 9 because of downed trees. They also add that pg &E goes first on any downed tree with an electric wire. Once they clear that up, Caltrans can help with cleaning up the road. Caltrans also adds that there continues to be multiple locations of downed trees with wires north of Highway 9 and the intersection of Lower Highway to 36. They say they will continue to work with pg &E on clearing these methodically and as quickly as possible. CHP Santa Cruz says that there has not been any injuries of fallen trees on the roadways. In Ben Lomond, Natalie Gutierrez, KION News Channel 46. And we checked at this hour, Highway 9 still is closed in multiple areas, including El Soilo Heights Drive between Glen Arbor Road and Arbor, Arbolita Way, also between Scenic Drive and Woodland Drive between Bear Creek Road and Upper Highway 236. All right, let's talk.